Before I get into what happened today, I'm going to provide you a backstory and some context, and then I'm going to post what happened today. Let's get into it. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. Most of you are aware of this story because I posted about it, okay? Tamar car got robbed. Basically, they didn't take the actual car, but they broke in her car and took things out of her car, okay? Then during that time, she posted that she basically had no one and nowhere to go and doesn't feel safe and all of that. That probably, like I said in those videos, upset her fiance. Why are you posting I'm not safe anywhere? Why are you posting I'm not safe with anyone? Because I don't live anywhere. When we do have a home, my home is your home. We're planning our wedding. We're together. Why would you publicly embarrass me like that? Probably they argue about stuff like that, okay? Anyways, then he broke up with her. He released the statement that he broke up with her and he was done with her and he moved on. He been out here in these streets, okay, going on dates with different people and all of that. If you care and you've been following, then you know who he's been hanging out with. Well, long story short, he invited that same person to go with him to the Falcons and Synths game. As you can see from the text messages, she was unavailable. And then the next thing you know, who's there with him? Exactly, Tamar Braxton. So if his plan was, I broke up with her. And if I go running back, she's not going to respect me. I want to teach her a lesson and prove that I will and can leave, okay? And I want to make her jealous and that might make her want to come back. Well, if that was his plan, it worked, okay? Because you can count every teeth in her mouth the way how she's smiling with this man. And now she's back on Instagram Live taking accountability. It was my fault. Something that we've never seen her do before. It was my fault. I was wrong. Blaming herself. I really do wish Tamar well. Because Tamar, not only did this man break up with you. Then you got in an argument with this woman. She referred to you using a name that broke you. Made you cry on the real. Had you asking questions. If you all know the Tamar Braxton and K. Michelle story, then you know what I'm talking about. She disrespected you. You clapped back. And then of all of the women... He could have gone out with. He chose the woman that just called you a name, that K. Michelle called you, that had you crying on national television. That's the woman he chose. And then, if she had said yes, she would have been with him at that game and not you. Here you are taking full accountability and saying it's all your fault a man that petty oh yeah mm -mm. i don't want no parts now you can say oh he was just doing that to get my attention he was being petty for a reason and it worked i came back i apologized but someone who genuinely love you will not hang around people or do things to embarrass and hurt you to get a reaction so pray for tamar braxton child because this healing journey that she's claiming she's on, the way how she's moving with this guy, if it doesn't work out and they broke up again, oof, mm -mm. for her sake, I pray and hope that it works out for them because this right here is some ish. I was so right about that healing journey because everything is over. Tamar got the man back. He posted this long caption, taking accountability for his part in it even hop on another instagram live okay there are things that i needed to heal from and that's real sometimes when you come into a relationship now listen tamar and i met on a show it was like speed dating for like six weeks got engaged i proposed i proposed i loved her some things happened, and do I accept responsibility for the things that I, I failed? Absolutely. But were there things that I needed to heal from? Come on, absolutely, a thousand percent. Did I hurt her? Yes, purposely. I don't hide from that. I don't hide from that. I don't. I don't, I don't hide from that. I was single, we weren't speaking, period. 
but I had to get to a place where my anger and my hurt could heal and I healed. Well, they both have a lot of healing to do because if you're happy, you got your man back. I don't care if it's a segment on your show. Why did you even have to go there and embarrass yourself like this? So let's get into what Tamar said during her show. And remember, before the Instagram live I just played, he went on another Instagram live with Tamar where she took full accountability for her part that she played in the breakup. The link to that video, if you missed it, is in the description below. Let's get into what she had to say at her show. That's why I had to go get my man back, y'all. And I know y'all lying. If y'all thought I was gonna let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. <laughs> while we was broke up. No, man. That was not my man. He don't owe me no loyalty when we broke up. Shit, I could have went out with his homeboy. What's up? <laughs> it's all fair game when you broke up, bitch. Don't get it fucked up. It's a good man, Savannah. That white man with six kids, he had five kids by four different women took a head to a game and yet you took that white man back tamar being such a goofy at her big age him taking a head to a game should have been the reason to leave not go and get him back now when her name ready to scrap you better be ready exactly you are tamar braxton someone that petty they are showing you all of the signs and red flags. Don't come on this internet crying, girl. When people show you who they are, believe them. When God is trying to save you from something, girl, like, what are you doing? Like, he wouldn't even have contact with me after taking that head out. But she better be on guard because going to want to fight. It's smoke at this point. Does Tamar have friends? Exactly. Because a friend, family member, anyone needs to talk to her because she is going out sad over this man. So go at it with a black girl for a white man and sisters know you're lying. Getting older, but maturity is on pause. Now, before I get into the clapback, I just want to say for the people who don't know, that person that Tamar keep referring to as a head okay can't say the word allegedly was arrested and had possession of that but allegedly the charges were dropped because she said she didn't have anything it was all lies and the charges were dropped okay so there's no proof that she was doing any of that but tamar took that story and ran with it and because she's not saying her name she gets to be like, well, I didn't say her name. So you can file a lawsuit against me or do anything because I didn't say your name. But we all know who she's talking about. So let's get into that person clapping back. I just had dinner with my men and my bonus children. I think I give a fuck. I don't. Let's get into it. So all I said was, hi. All I said was, he had a nice suit. And from there, he was thirsty. He wanted to fly me out. What's wrong with me going to a game? What is wrong with the situation is that that is your man, as you call it. That is your man. He knew it was a situation with me and you. And he was down. He was down to play op games. I wouldn't take nothing like that serious, my love. That nigga ate my ass, and I sent him on his way. It wasn't the, I don't know, middle class house that he lives in in Atlanta. It wasn't the Bentleys, because I drive a Rolls Royce, that got me. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, the slick part thing he got going on. It wasn't none of that. It was when he paid for the Waldorf in points, I knew that I could no longer play this game. So it was a one-night thing. He never got no pussy. One thing, JR, you never want to play with me. You don't want me to expose how you were saying that you kicked her out. And she went back to her mother's house. Not Mrs. Braxton. Not Mrs. 
Not Mrs. Mrs. Singer with the sold out tour that Jr. also told me was flex. It was cap. It was she flexing. She don't have no soul. That shit between me and you was his exact words. The tour not sold out. He said you was messy. He said you went back to your mother's house. He told me a lot of things that he shouldn't tell a stranger. I just met this man less than a week. Love, if that's your man, as you say, then you need to check him. You need to really check him and check your situation and really see if you're sleeping with the enemy or not. I am not your problem. I don't know you. I wish I was drunk. I wish I was drunk right now. I wish I was drunk. Because, nah, f that. I'm about to post your shit, JR. I'm about to post your fucking shit, white boy. I try to just let you eat my for the slaves. For the slaves, bitch. This Hawaii calling me a crackhead? I did it for the, for us, for us, pink, you got me, now I'm about to post your shit. He posted them messages, you wear these suits so well, he responded, thank you, they don't make them like me anymore, you always look amazing in your shoots. She responded, definitely, don't everyone isn't able, love, okay? And then she also responded, thanks, I appreciate you. He responded, respect, we should grab dinner when you are available. Where are you located? Was her response, he responded, ATL, my base law firm is there. Because she should be supporting you. Yes. And then when he went after her, then she came out with a comment, of course. Yeah. But I, I haven't, I mean, between you and I, I talked to Tamar and- His favorite words, between you and I. When I said I didn't want to be with her, oh, she's been trying to get with me ever since. Oh, she's been trying to get with me every fucking day since. Kind of corny, yeah. Please, yeah, you know man. what I'm gonna do to you, boy. Sit on your head. We did. Um, <clears throat> silly me. I should have just reported. I should have recorded his head in my ass. I should have recorded that, but you know, I try to keep the moment personal. He never fucked me. But the the sad situation is like. We're black, Tamar. I could say your name. I know I'm not a crackhead. I live too well, baby, and I've never indulged in drugs. I don't have to keep saying that y'all gonna run with whatever. But we're two black girls letting this, this. I'm not even gonna say the race or whatever. Play with us. Like, tighten up. Tighten up, my girl. I'm not your issue. That nigga's your issue. And sleeping with people like that and trusting them, this be the problem. Y'all be sold for the nigga and then wanna, yeah, we had an issue. Yes, I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. But once I seen the severity of the situation, I was like, damn, this is kind of fucked up, actually. Because I'm at home right now with my man, and we laugh together. We don't give a fuck about this internet shit. And he would never talk to you. You could never motherfucking get that nigga to look your way up. Now go kiss him in the mouth, ho. <laughs> and JR, I know you're trying to sell that book. I know you're trying to sell that book. And another thing, you don't wear the mother. Well, you look like mother bitty cricket. I lied. I lied, bitch. I lied. Now we see why she wanted Krishan to be at her sold out tour. Now we see. Nobody would even know. Nobody would even know, babe. Nobody was checking. Nobody knew, which was my exact point to begin with. Nobody would know. And you keep little shit like this going up because and going on because nobody would know. You need to channel that energy, love. Have a seat on the couch. Before I start my day, this is the last one. I cannot carry throughout my day on this nonsense. But babe, you need some healing. You need a tad bit of healing. Word from the alleged crackhead. You need some healing. Good day, guys. You can see on the screen she continue her day with her alleged man. I mean, she's right. All he's going to say to Tamar is, I publicly said I intentionally wanted to hurt you, and that's why I contacted her. I said those things out of anger. I was upset. I wanted to hurt you, baby. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. And Tamar is not going to go anywhere, okay? But I really do hope that Tamar will see her work and stop allowing certain people to play in her face like this. And I do wish her well because this right here is a hot 
mess okay tamar is like she's going through the fear of being alone she's like oh it's not easy out here let me go back to what i know i'm just saying when people show you who they are i believe them and hopefully he is change and she is change jane and the both of them are healing together and will do better because this woman did not bother anyone today and tamar started this okay you can't start mess and then run and go and hide your hands, Tamar. You can't do that. Okay? Always throwing rocks and hiding her hands. But anyways, I wish Tamar the best for her sake, her healing journey, her mental health. I really do wish her the best. People are also noticing how Tamar is moving with this man, okay? And I don't want to throw race into it, but this is what I'm seeing on social media. So let's talk about it, okay? The white man shows up with five kids by four different women. And do your thing. I don't judge people. Do you? He's an adult. Do whatever you want to do. As long as he's a great father, he's taking care of his kids. Do you? But Tamar had nothing negative. Unless it was editing, Tamar was so accepting. It wasn't no lips popping, baby mama drama. Oh, absolutely not. No, she was calm. I receive you. I accept it. I'm happy. They break up. He hurts her by going on dates with someone who's dragging her and she has an instagram live and takes full accountability and say i was wrong it's my fault however with her other breakups the black men that she was dating they just feel like her response is different she did not take accountability for nothing she blamed them for everything she was perfect that's how she made it seems and all of that but for this man it's different and my response to that is maybe her breakup with him isn't and wasn't the same as you know you can't compare it i completely understand and see where people are coming from but you know you cannot compare it i get it you know i was wrong it was my fault he's a good man even though he's hanging out with people who's dragging you and all of that people are just noticing how it's so different if you're on the show Yes, a guy was on the show that had no business being on the show. His kid wasn't even one. Why are you here? You just had a newborn. Like, leave. However, he had almost the same amount of kids with the same amount of, you know, baby mama, children to mother. And her reaction to him was the ghetto and lips popping and all of that. But for JR, it was okay. So that I say, I mean, she was the same way at times with her ex-husband. Talked down on her sister's relationships, elevated hers, and how he was everything and the best thing ever until things went bad. So, you know, love who you love and I wish Tamar the best. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.